So guys, I just finished working on my newest self-study course on how to use NVivo for qualitative data analysis. I'm extremely happy with the result. I'm extremely happy with this course. It's over five hours of in-depth detailed instruction. I'm taking you on the whole journey, the whole analytic journey, the whole process. As I'm working on the data, I'm showing you everything, not just in terms of the functions of NVivo, but also explaining it from the perspective of research, why these things, uh, these things need to be, uh, to be done, why I'm doing the things the way I'm doing. So it's all based obviously on my experience. It's very practical. I provide you a sample data set that I'm using in the course. We are uh, trying to answer hypothetical research questions as well. So, so it's a very practical experience uh, that resembles uh, the process, the experience of working on an actual study. So, so I think that's the best thing about this course. As I said, it's a self-study course. You can complete it in your own time, whenever you want. Uh, and you can do it as many times as you want. So you have a lifetime access for a very low price. You will not find anything in a, with a remotely similar price in terms of in vivo instructions. So, uh, so I do encourage you to explore this resource. Uh, what follows is a trailer, is a course trailer where I explain a little bit more, but also read under the video, uh, read about the curriculum, follow the links under the video. Importantly, they will take you to uh, the course page where you can read more about the content and also it will take you to the page where and a discount has been applied automatically. So you'll get it for a lower price than you would normally uh, pay for it. If you're new to NVivo, this course is the best thing that could happen to you. Now give me two minutes and I'll explain everything you need to know about the course and about myself. So firstly, I'm a professional data analyst and research consultant, and I've worked for hundreds of big companies and top universities including the universities of Oxford, Cambridge or Edinburgh. And this course, From Zero to NVivo, has been consistently named the most effective, the highest rated and the most popular NVivo course online in the recent years. Just look at some of the reviews it received. In the course, which is about the currently most recent and up-to-date version of NVivo, often referred to as R1 or Release 1, I'm using a sample dataset consisting of interviews with chefs and actors to show you the process of coding and then analyzing this data thematically. And while doing so, I show you everything step by step and in a chronological order, which I believe is the main strength of this course and the main advantage over random videos that you can find online. So I'm showing you everything from the beginning, starting from how to set up a new project in NVivo how to import your data into it, how to find your way around this new and unfamiliar workspace, as well as how to organize the data into sets and folders, how to create initial notes, and generally how to set up this data set for the further analysis. Then of course I show you all things related to coding and invite you to watch me code the data and develop themes from the code, so that you can fully understand this process and the logic behind taking our codes to the level of themes. I'll also show you a range of different queries that you can apply to your data to make the analysis even more in-depth, as well as show you different visual representations, maps and diagrams that you can use to represent the results of your work or your thoughts and assumptions. And finally, I also discuss different kinds of data sets. So I talk about focus group data and questionnaire data, as well as cover different ways in which we can export the results of our analysis. It is important to know that this course is a result of several years spent working with different clients and students, which means that I know what questions typically come to your minds when faced with this rather overwhelming task of analyzing your data. Therefore, I always try to make it practical. And in addition to showing you simply how to use certain functions of NVivo, I try to convey my overall logic and my overall approach to data analysis so that you understand which options to choose and why. So in general, to make you confident in what you're doing. Now feel free to read more about the course curriculum and reach out to me privately if you still have any questions. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course.